Dear ladies and gentlemen, it's my absolute pleasure and honor to introduce to you the fourth episode of our Coptic hymns, our Coptic heritage. And today I want to talk to you and answer a question that is on your mind. Why did the Coptic Church prevent musical instruments from being used in the liturgy? The Coptic Church prohibited using musical instruments in the Coptic liturgies except for two percussion instruments, the cymbals and the triangle, which are used to control the tempo and to spread the sense of joy. And the church prohibited other instruments for several reasons. Number one, the church wanted to cut off all connections with idol worshiping, which mainly used musical instruments, statues, and dancing in their rituals. The church did that aiming to protect the believers against their remembrance and help them focus their attention on the power of the divine word. Number two, in early persecution times, churches will build beneath the earth to avoid public worship meetings. So Christians were obliged to praise secretly. Thus, use of their musical instruments was not possible and they depended only on human voices. Imagine someone walking in the street carrying a huge counterbus on his way to that small underground church to praise God. For sure he will be caught with his instrument and put into jail. Number three, the holy apostles preferred using the Jewish synagogue rite, which permits sonic voice only. A cappella, rather than the Sankatri rite, in which all types of musical instruments were used. Number four, the law number 80 of Saint Clement of Alexandria prohibited the use of any kind of musical instruments in the church. Personally, despite being an advocate of musical instruments and their important role embracing, I corporate the church in prohibiting musical instruments, other than the symbols and the triangle and holy liturgies, in order to preserve the tradition, the tradition. However, I believe that this prohibition should not include chanting out the church rituals, like in a special chanting ceremonies in the church or in any theater designated for that purpose. gentlemen today I want also to talk to you about ornaments ornaments in the Coptic hymns ornaments and embellishments are considered one of the main characteristics of Pharaonic life in general and for Coptic hymns in particular in Coptic hymns there are two kinds of ornaments the first is considered a main part of the hymn contexture the canto fermo and all chanters and deacons perform it in accordance. For example, El Sengari hymn. <laughs> The second is added by each chanter according to his own visibility and sensibility and is not considered as a main part of the hymn since it differs even for the same person from one time to the other according to his mood, psychological and spiritual state experienced 
while performing the hymn. For example, the hymn Abikran. I can chant it like this. I can chant it like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hope that our episode today has responded to the question why did the Coptic Church prevent musical instruments in the liturgical services and explain to you the types of ornaments in our Coptic hymns? Looking forward to see you in the next episode where I will explain to you the tonal redundancy in the Coptic hymns and why when we chant in the Coptic Church we say e, 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 ah, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. but now I will tell you bye.